Welcome to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not. If you are here for the first time, don't forget to press that subscribe button. So guys, let's jump into the video. We're talking about Beyonce and Rihanna. Did Rihanna claim Beyonce's hair business to seek revenge? Is Rihanna a disgruntled side chick? Is that why Rihanna has decided to enter the same business as Beyonce? Is it payback time? So for years, there's been allegations that Rihanna had a sexual relationship with Jay-Z. At the time, she was with Jay-Z's label. It's alleged she was Jay-Z's side chick. But since those rumours, more information has became available to the public. It's become available to all of us. We all know the process to getting into the music industry and getting a record deal. So it'd be more likely that Jay-Z would have basically taken advantage of Rihanna to lure her into his bed in order for her to secure a deal she may have accept. Because guys like Jay-Z, when they recruit, allegedly, they want perks for giving you the record deal. And you making them money on the label is not enough. The perks they seem to want seem to be the ones that entail you giving them your body. Now, you may be thinking this is a harsh allegation to throw at Jay-Z, but Jay-Z's name has come up time and time again. Allegations against Jay-Z have been coming thick and fast, just like a lot of these other guys in the industry. Now, you may think these allegations against Jay-Z seem a little bit harsh, but Jay-Z's name has came up time and time again, and it seems like the music industry has the equivalent of a casting couch, which is something that goes down a lot in the acting industry. And remember, Jay-Z has a connection to P. Diddy. These two are very, very close. How do I know they're close? Well, P. Diddy was very vocal when he said the only person who can call him Sean is his mother, and Jay-Z. So imagine that. How close do you have to be to somebody where you're on the level of their mother? Now, I've heard the allegations that Jay-Z has been in bed with P. Diddy, which would explain why he's able to call him Sean. Sean, give it to me. Sean, get... But today, that's not about that. We're not talking about P. Diddy and Jay-Z, whether they've been intimate or not. That is not today's topic. Today's topic is... Is Rihanna out there trying to revenge Beyonce because Beyonce messed her music career up because she was in the bed with Jay-Z? Rihanna was young when she entered the entertainment industry, in the music industry. She was a beautiful girl from Barbados. And if you look at Jay-Z's reputation, he has a lust for younger women. Um, Dragula Wright has been saying Jay-Z is worse than P. Diddy for a long time. And I know what you're going to say, Jaguar is crazy, nobody believes her. Well, a lot of people, Jaguar has been accusing of taking part in this celebrity sex trafficking ring, have been proven to be guilty. So what she's saying is not always, you know, a load of rubbish. She says a lot of things that are true. You Sean Carter is just as bad as the diddler. And I know that for a fact. I got the scars to prove it. You want to know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and ripping you? I can tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. That Cassie shit, that's nothing. I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on tape. Just like Diddy. <laughs> and they're gonna be crazy. It's gonna be the women that get them in the end. And I think it's time for him to start speaking up about his very good friend. Just nine months ago, you were singing his praises. All that he's done for the culture. And how you gotta be crazy like Diddy to make it.
Then you didn't want to sit next to him at the Grammys. Uh. Told everybody that he had cooties. And canceled the Rock Nation brunch, which is your favorite event. Because that's how you line up who you going to move around next year. Like y'all did with Clarence Avon. And I told you I would. And I'm going to keep my word. So you see there, Jaguar is claiming that Jay Z has put hands on her. Now, I've heard rumours that Jay-Z has slapped Beyonce before, so this violence from him against a woman isn't shocking. We also know that Jay-Z previously had stabbed his own brother. He stabbed his own brother in the past. So Jay-Z is not a person where it's really shocking to hear he's been violent. But to see scars on somebody and they're saying, yes, Jay-Z done it, you know, she's a brave woman. Jaguar is a woman who always talks out, despite what many people may think about her. She's most definitely telling her story and she wants to be heard. Jaguar is everything this industry hates. They hate people who speak out. They want you to be a victim. They want you to suffer in silence. They don't want you to hold the secrets. And this is a woman who refuses to be silent. She's willing to put herself at risk, whatever it takes. She's been arrested quite a few times. I believe this is because she's speaking out, because they do try to avenge you. But this woman is a brave woman. She won't be silenced, not by Jay-Z, not by Diddy, not by any of these evil people within the industry. Allegedly. So I really think that, you know, Jaguar Wright is, you know, a liar because she comes across like she is kind of crazy. Now, why is she alive then, people are thinking. People are thinking, why is Jaguar still alive if she's out here spilling the secrets, especially about people like P. Diddy? P. Diddy is allegedly, you know, allegedly, by rumours, people have been saying he took out Pac, he took out Pac, and he took out his alleged best friend, Biggie Smalls. So people are thinking, if all these things Jaguar says are true, and she's talking about people like P. Diddy, why is this woman alive and why is she still able to say what she says? I'm going to tell you exactly why Jaguar is talking, talking, talking the business and why she's alive right now. It's because she's smarter than some of the others. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who attempted to speak out about people like P. Diddy and other people in the sex offenders ring have disappeared. Their life has been ended. Something has happened to them. But she was smarter than some others. And I'm going to tell you exactly what Jaguar done. And I've been talking about this in the past. I'm going to do another video on this actually, guys. Is that sometimes, you know, snitching can keep you alive. Now, Jaguar could have done what some of the other celebrities done. She could have said, I'm going to tell on you soon. I'm going to write a book about you soon. And she would have disappeared. See, if you remember P. Diddy's, you know, ex, she had been planning on writing a book about him. And I'm talking about his ex, who is unfortunately, you know, passed away, Kim Porter, rest in peace. You know, she was going to write a book on Diddy. And you all seen what happened to her. Allegations is Diddy ended her life. I do not know why no criminal charges have not been made against him. He seems to have done this very, very cleverly, this crime. I believe the FBI are looking into it, so time will tell. But, you know, P. Diddy, you know, he's very, very calculated. He's very smart, and he knows what he's doing, and that is probably why it took so long, despite the rumours, her friends saying it. A lot of people have said that, you know, P. Diddy was the man behind it. She was, you know, domestically in a bad situation with him. He was allegedly putting hands on her. And he knew the book was going to come out, and boom, there, there happens to be, you know, this illness she suffers, and, you know, she's died sadly now jaguar she doesn't say i'm gonna tell she doesn't put threats out there she gets to it when she gets to it and she tells all the business it keeps her safe so jaguar won't speculate that she's got something to tell she'll come on the tv and she'll say exactly what she has to say she'll be on youtube she'll be on live she'll be whatever and she'll tell the whole story and you know what that does? That protects her because if she disappears, it's too obvious who's behind it because she's out here spilling the secret. So they prefer to leave Jaguar 
alive, despite the fact that she is, you know, refusing to keep the secrets. Jaguar, I believe, knows more than people even think. She's been speaking out and there's probably even more she's going to tell us. And Jaguar is not going to hold back. She doesn't go by this stupid, you know, no snitch policy. She's using her common sense and she's exposing these monsters. I don't understand why anybody would want to help guys like this. Why? If we could clean up the music industry, it would be better for everybody. Now, if you know all their secrets, you know so much things about their trafficking ring. They like to do something to you. Something has to happen to you. So whether they try to get you in jail, whether you die, whether you get a mysterious sickness, if they can't do any of that to you, the next move is to make you seem crazy. What you find is a lot of people who are telling these secrets, they give them a reputation of being crazy. So you've got Jaguar, right? People think she's kind of crazy. Then you have poor Raz B. Now, I love Raz B, guys. And I love Raz B because I just, my heart just feels for him. Like, he has been through so much. This celebrity sex trafficking ring, paedophilia, crazy, gay, just just this industry where they just manipulate take advantage of you and do things to you he is a victim of it and I feel bad for him every time I see him I just think you know Razby's been through so much now Razby was a victim and if you notice they have managed to make Razby look crazy Mm -hmm. they made Razby look crazy and the reason they've done that is to discredit him because once somebody's crazy you can just say what his rambling don't make no sense. But what you'll find with Rasby, if you really listen to him, some things he says, yes, they sound wild, they sound out there, they sound crazy. But that is truth in things Rasby says. Now, I feel really bad for Rasby because we all know his cousin, who is, you know, massive in the entertainment industry. He makes movies. We all know he is the initial person who took advantage Allegedly. of Rasby. And Rasby has had to go to him at certain points and actually ask him for money. And that's because he's his family member and Rasby's mental health is not great. And it's not great because of the things he's been through in the industry. And they've made him a victim and then they're spending their time discrediting him. So Rasby, sometimes he seems crazy, but there's, there's definitely truth in what he's saying. He's just not a stable person because of all the things he's actually been through. He's quoted many times that he's been in bed with like P. Diddy and numerous other monsters that are in this entertainment industry. And, you know, there's prayers for Rasby, guys, because Rasby, you know, I feel like he's a guy that just needs to, you know, get counselling, get a lot of therapy, be in some sort of treatment centre, somebody to help him through the abuse so he can just, you know, focus better and be able to, you know, move on and get out of this terrible situation and the situation where he has to keep even going back to his abuser to, you know, seek help from him and feeling like he has to befriend his abuser. Like, let's just pray Rasby gets help because Rasby, you know, he's a talented guy. He's a nice guy. He's a funny guy. Like... He didn't deserve any of these things that has actually happened to him. And this is how this industry is. So, you know, anybody can be a victim. So don't think because you see somebody and, you know, they're on the stage, they look like they're happy. You see them talking to this person. They're not necessarily a victim of this person. You will see in this industry people talking to people who have taken advantage of them. It happens all the time in real life as well when it's not amongst celebrities. So when someone has this much money and this much power and can just end your career just like that, this is, you know, this is how attached you feel to them because you feel like without them, your career is over. Now, although Beyonce comes across as angelic and very kind when she does content, like say Beyonce puts out a video and everything, she comes across very gentle. But Beyonce is known for being a mean girl in the industry. She's known for blocking other women out of the industry. She's known for... If you say something about her, Beyonce will have your career ended instantly. We've seen Keisha Cole, how her career just never went where it was meant to after she said that she doesn't really need to bow down to Beyonce when Beyonce said bow down bitches and she was like, uh-uh, Keisha Cole was like, I am that bitch. I ain't bowing down to no bitch. I don't need to bow down to you. I don't need to give you your flowers, Beyonce. I don't need to do none of that. And that really affected Keisha Cole's career. 
she allegedly stopped rivals coming up against her. She used her power there. So Beyonce is a powerful woman. So when you have somebody like Beyonce and she's pulling certain strings that are going to affect your career, it's very difficult to come up against her. So Rihanna would have been in this situation where she's got these two powerful people. You've got Jay-Z, who's powerful, and then you've also got Beyonce, who's very powerful, and they're both pulling you different directions. One's trying to pull you to the bed, and the other one's trying to end you. Now, we know Jay-Z was a cheat, but not all the women Jay-Z cheated with necessarily wanted to cheat with him. We know how this celebrity industry goes. There's a lot of manipulation. Precedented stand to fight for this marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, to fight for it and to put it all out there. What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to keep the safe? Well, it's my soulmate, it's a person I love, you know. And you and you you can be in love with someone. You can love someone and you not and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications. And some of these complications allegedly included Vita Ora, they included Becky, Rachel Roy. They included Riri. These complications are complications Jay-Z brought on himself. Have you noticed Jay-Z as well? He's this man who allegedly has all these kids out there, but he never wants to acknowledge them. So we know that Beyonce only wants Jay-Z if he's pretty much being the perfect man. She could have, you know, stretched her power and said to Jay-Z, like, man up and raise your kids. But she doesn't say this to him. Not this, because this isn't stuff that she requires from him. So Jay-Z does do a lot of things to please Beyonce. Do I believe he's a deadbeat dad of his own back? Of course. But with the right pressure, I feel like he could have manned up, owned some of his kids that he's got, you know, showed them publicly and gave them a bit of the lifestyle. Jay-Z's a fake husband. Yeah, I call him a fake husband because he's fake. He only wants to follow his vows when he has to. He's not truly committed to it. He's a husband when he has to be. Other than that, he's out there being this low and doing what he wants. So I call him a fake husband because a real husband that makes the vows with the intention to stick to them. So Rihanna could have been a victim of the celebrity advantage-taking ring because she came from Barbados. She wasn't rich to start with and she was brought into the industry and these guys can't leave a pretty girl alone. In fact, they can't leave any girl alone, forget the pretty. So why would Beyonce dislike Rihanna? Beyonce would not dislike Rihanna because she would have heard the rumours and the allegations that Rihanna was Jay-Z's side chick. And even if she hadn't heard the rumours and the allegations, when her man was spending time with this girl, she would know about his previous reputation of cheating or being with other women. Now, this is when I think it turned nasty. I think when Beyonce had just had enough of Jay-Z, she had dropped Lemonade, she was at a point of no return, she was just over Jay-Z and his bullshit, sick of the cheating, sick of all the different women, sick of the Rita Ora situation, sick of, you know, the Becky, who was Rachel Roy, and sick of Riri. And she put some real demands on Jay-Z. It was like, Jay-Z, like, if I was in the house, it would have went something like this. Jay-Z, fuck this shit, look at me, I'm a bad bitch, my body's good, my face is nice, I'm talented, I'm rich, I can get any man I want, you're old, you're unfair, you're not taking care of yourself, and you're cheating as well. Like, that's how it was probably going down in the house, it was all kicking off, everything was going, you know, crazy, he'd already been beat up in the lift by Solange, like, a lot was going on. Beyonce was at the point where it was like she wasn't going to stick around with Jay-Z anymore. She had had enough. And it was time to, you know, give Jay-Z the ultimatums. I think it was like you stop, you stop, you know, sleeping with all these different artists. You have all the relationship is over. I'm gone. Like she knows she can get a next man just like that. You know, there's no way a woman like Beyonce would need to be desperate. I mean, Jay-Z was punching in the beginning. And bear in mind, Beyonce didn't find Jay-Z attractive at all when she met him. Her uncle has said she didn't like him, but she knew she needed to settle down at some point and get a man. And Jay-Z was a lot older than her and he's not the most attractive. And there's this crazy chick 
on TikTok, and let me see if I've got the video, this crazy chick on TikTok who is saying that all black women basically find Jay-Z attractive, and if you're white, you can't say Jay-Z is unattractive because all women fancy Jay-Z who are black, which is absolutely bull. I don't know any women who really like Jay-Z now or back in the day. Most women acknowledge Jay-Z was ugly, so this is just one crazy chick, super fan, whatever. But, you know, Beyonce knew her value, and she knew she was going to have to upgrade him. Like, the she was going to have to upgrade that guy. And this is when Jay-Z decided he has no choice but to do what his wife wants. And that was the end of Rihanna's career. And that's why I'm saying, is Rihanna back? And is she seeking revenge? Because she has released a hair care line pretty much at the same time as Beyonce, a rival to the Queen Bee. Now, would Rihanna challenge queen b brand would she be crazy to go against beyonce beyonce seems to have eliminated her out of the music industry for a long period of time so would it be wild of rihanna to decide it's time to strike her revenge not really because rihanna's fenty brand is very popular she's well established in the makeup industry already and she knew she could beat beyonce at the hair care industry why because fenty's brand is established already and everything fenty releases is a hit whereas beyonce she's not really established in the hair industry now beyonce has got you know very long mixed hair which she has you know said she uses these products on her hair and that's why her hair is in such good condition but obviously it's clear beyonce is a mixed person her mum is mixed beyonce's got mixed hair and she does have healthy nice hair but she does have mixed hair so that explains a lot of the length and stuff like that now rihanna she doesn't have the the challenges that Beyonce has in terms of people saying Beyonce's hair is fake a lot of people don't want to believe this is Beyonce's hair the fact that Beyonce is mixed and has mixed textured hair so that can go against her because a lot of people are gonna you know use their common sense and say well my hair is never going to be looking exactly like Beyonce's hair because I'm not mixed this is black women by the way I'm talking about so Rihanna has you know a hair texture that more black women are gonna obviously have but the truth is Rihanna has seen so much success and it's shocking but she's worth more than Beyonce I mean Beyonce has 760 mil whereas Rihanna has like 1.4 billion and you would expect Beyonce to have more money because Beyonce has been working hard she's been working harder than Rihanna let's be honest loads of shows loads of dancing her career kicked off when she was very young and she's you know well getting up there in the ages right now she's still making music and she's still selling out shows but the hair industry, I think Rihanna's got this on lock, if I'm really honest, because Fenty brand, as I said, is, you know, making big money and everybody's obsessed with it. If Rihanna, the alleged side chick, previous side chick of Jay-Z, has decided to rival Beyonce to beat her, to show her she can be the winner, it's for probably a good reason. It's probably because Queen Bee was really nasty to her when she found out she was in a relationship with Jay-Z, it's probably because she tried to end Rihanna's music career, it's probably because she never held Jay-Z accountable for his own actions and just put the whole thing onto Rihanna, and that is probably why she's probably decided this time I win, this time I'm going to be number one, and I'm going to show you that I can be bigger than you and you can't stop me in the hair industry, although you may have had the power to affect my career in music. Rihanna is currently coming back to music, guys. So it will be interesting to see what type of music she's going to be releasing and how her current sound is going to be. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll definitely see you guys on another one. Precedented stand to fight for this marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, to fight for it and to put it all out there. What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to get to save it? Well, it's my soulmate, it's a person I love, you know. And you and you you can be in love with someone, you can love someone and you not and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean approved. There's not a single person. That, that outside should be, of family, that should be no outside of my mother. Okay, just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. It's only when it was 2016. You know the game has been elevated. 
Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Yeah. You understand? Right. And we here together, and, and, and we're going to keep staying together. We're getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's and, right. and, and united we stand, and ain't nothing else to, right. uh, to us. Black yeah. excellence. Right. Right. I want to ask you about the I'm retired shirt. What did that mean? Was there a message? The other line. Well, what was the other line? Oh, this is as dressed up as I get. People got triggered with that retired word. They were like, we're never getting an album now. So that was the thing. So that was just a oh, t-shirt. your segue. Clearly, I'm here. Right. Clocked in. I have been working on the album. Life, and I'm not going to play with it. And I'm talking about I got a second chance to put out new music, to put out new frequencies, new vibrations. I told y'all before about R&B being dead. Well, I'm telling you, R&B is alive. Love Records, we here. The new number one R&B label in the world. I can show you better than I can tell you. At midnight, East Coast time, I'm dropping the first project off of Love Records. It's all the same. I hate this place, it's all the same. 